Hello everybody and welcome back to part 11 of my Firewatch playthrough series. Now at the end of the last episode, the wave tracking device has started to beep whilst uh, I'm in my lookout tower and um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go and investigate and find out what the source of the beeping is. Now Delilah's having a bit of a freak out at the moment. She's um, uncontactable at the moment because she's a little bit drunk because she's not dealing with the uh, whole we are being surveilled by who knows what organization or whoever is spying on us so i'm on my own at this stage and if it wasn't any more difficult the forest is on fire so basically need to go and explore and find out what is causing the beeping at this point. Get down there, but I could get across there if I had chopped that tree down earlier. No easy jump off point. Drop off point. Let's go back around the other way. So this thing's just randomly started beeping all on its own. So I don't know what it's picked up or what it's detected, but... I'm not sure trekking around the forest at night is a good idea. Okay, so I can chop the tree down, so that gives me a route back. Right. So at least I can get back across there now if I need to rush. I can't get down there. Okay. In closer. I'm getting closer. What's that? It's a backpack. Be still. Shit! What? Ah! And it's alarm. Oh, it's a bomb. Huh. We've got a backpack and a. K452. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that the key to the the cave that we found way back at the start of our adventures that's locked? And no one knew what where the key had gone to? D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. And I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. 
says the woman with the half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my, yeah, tower. I'm in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? Most definitely not. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Someone's in my tower. And I'm in a hurry to get back there. Surely if there's a psycho, we should be going the opposite direction. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. This is getting weird. If there's someone in my tower, why am I going back there? And amazingly, he'll just be gone by the time I get there. Or they'll be gone. I don't see anybody now. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. How'd you know it was a he? Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. Whoa. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening? Henry. Calm down. Chill out. Day 78 is upon us. Although this is getting quite freaky. So a person was at the research site recording us. They probably set the fire after I left. And they're trying to pin it on me and Delilah. to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Shit. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Right, so I've got to go and explore the cave now that I've found the key for. Okay. That's going to be... 
how do I get back to the cave? Seriously, it was like February when I last played this. <laughs> so, um, where is the cave? I have to travel downwards. If I remember right. Hey, you. You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Sure, it's down. There we go. There's the cave. Okay, so at this point, I'm trying to figure out how to turn my torch on because. You know, I've had so much great fun having it on at all times up to now. Now when I actually need it, I can't remember what button it is that turns it on. Ah, there we go, R3. R3 turns on the torch. What the hell? Someone close the door on me? Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception. Was a cave slide? Freezing in here. And who are you talking to? Just you down here. I hope. What's that down there? A shoe? Found a shoe. This is weird. 
This is very weird. Am I outside? The sky? Ah, way out. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. So, I'm gonna go and find something that enables me to climb further down into that cave? Why? Why do I want to spend any more time in the creepy cave? With someone sneaking around who could possibly bash me over the head with something and kill me. What's this? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. The kid? Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Um... Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Hey, is that me? Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait. Are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying, I'm pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular Rhodes Scholar. Nice. So, he's got quite a little setup going on here. Interesting. This was his little I bed? I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Wow. Well, he certainly left a lot of stuff here. There's some grade-A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva half- Elf Armor 7. Classic Wizards and Wyverns. Ah, role player. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on 
Stuff like that. Teaching him electronics. Clever kid. There's a busted old toy out here. Some sort of electronic game. Yeah. I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Yeah, Pong Gosh, rules. Brian had everything he loved out there. I'm gonna throw that away. And a postcard. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. And now I've got some anchors. I can go back in the cave? I don't want to go back in the cave. <laughs> Can't we just get out of the forest? Can't we just leave? something why else try to kill me i don't know really i mean we got to find out what do you think whatever it is they don't want you telling anyone about I mean, they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a are you serious with this shit right now <laughs> uh, a hatchet god are you sure you want to go back in there no i don't want to go back in there honestly i just i just want to know I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Seriously, Delilah seems like the voice of reason at the minute. Do not go back in the cave. Nothing good will come from going oh, into the cave. Uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Well, Nobody I know did. I didn't kill them. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. Yeah, I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. You're probably right. Okay, so that's bringing me an end to part 11. Join me in part... 12 when I go and investigate this cave and see what's going on. So, thank you all for watching. Goodbye for now.